Hello, my name's Harrison. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at hanging your impact screen. So we're going to take you through kind of the timber surround. We're going to talk about bungee stretch, a bit of aspect ratio, and generally just how to hang an impact screen. So the first thing that you're going to need when you're actually going to start hanging your screen is obviously a frame. So when we tend to do our installs and we're hanging, hanging people's screens, we make a timber frame. Uh, this will be sort of inside the padding that you see. Um, so it goes all the way around the outside. The one that we have is about 510 wide by 310 high. This is to fit our 5B3 screen. Um, and then on the inside of that, what you'll see is we use angled iron. So it's like angled steel called Dexium uh, with holes in it. And that's how we actually attach the bungees and the screen to the frame. Um, also on the front, you'll see the, this padding. Behind that is just MDF wood. So you can make your frame and then put MDF and bring it out. So that's actually going to hide the bungee stretch and the edges of your screen to give you a really nice clean look. So now we're ready to actually attach our screen to the frame. So we're going to use our golf base bungee cords. Um, there is actually about 10 centimeters of stretch in these. So they can stretch out to about 20 centimeters. So bear that in mind when you're thinking about the size of your screen. Um, we're going to go and attach each top corner first just so we get the tension right. You don't want to attach all one side and then the other, otherwise it can be a bit skew with. So we're going to do each top corner, go along the top, and then we'll do the sides. So now we've got it all hooked on on the top with the bungees, we're now going to start to do the sides. So again, you want to do a couple on one side and then a couple on the other just to keep the tension even. You don't want the screen to be pulled across to one side or anything like that. Um, again, with the tension, if you find that you're getting a little bit too much bounce back or you feel like the screen's actually a bit saggy, add if you're getting too much bounce back, take some bungees out, that's going to soften the screen. And again, if it's, you haven't got enough tension, add some bungees, or if you feel like the bungees are actually stretching a bit too much and they're not taut enough, you can just tie a knot in them. That's gonna make them shorter, so you're gonna get a little bit more tension with your screen. So let's get on to doing the sides. So when we're putting the bungees on, we wanna get the looped end through the front of the screen, through the eyelet, so that the ball is at the front of the screen. And then on your Dexian, find the right hole for the right height of the eyelet, pop it through that hole, with your other hand grab the loop, pull it through, feed it through, get it around the ball, the bungee, and then you can pull the ball so that it's nice and tight. So as we're attaching the screen, um, it might, worth be, might be worth talking about aspect ratio, which is what a lot of people ask us about in terms of their screen and what their projection on the screen is going to look like. Um, so if you want a good aspect ratio like four over three, which is sort of what we've got here, not quite, um, then you're gonna need like a four meter by three meter screen um, to get that perfect aspect ratio. And then you've got 16 over nine and 16 over 10, which is more landscape. So it's a wide screen and a little bit flatter. So that one, it's more like a 4.1 uh, wide with a 2.1 high. Um, so you can get different projectors to fill different screens and things like that. Um, but it is worth thinking about the image. You don't want to have like a load of blank space on the top and the bottom. So thinking about your screen size, thinking about your aspect ratio, it's a good way to start about thinking about what size of screen you want. Um, obviously at Golf Bays, we can help you with that. We do loads of different projectors and work with different companies who can work things out for you. Um, so if you tell us, you know, what you want it to look like. Do you want it to be more square of an image, like a four over three, or do you want it to be more 16 over nine, like a, almost like a widescreen sort of TV, more cinema based, then we can make it work for you. So with the bungees, they come in packs of 20. That should do you for pretty much any size of screen. Um, 
obviously you can do the top on the two sides. Um, also though, with the top, it is possible you can cable tie the top. So if you wanted to kind of move the screen up or down, you could use you know, a longer cable tie to have it a bit lower and then tighten it and get it to go to the right height, whatever you really, whatever you really fancy. Um, you'll notice as well on this screen, our Pro Plus screen, we don't actually attach the bottom of the screen. This is just so that it helps maintain the shape of the screen, really. Um, it doesn't crease and fold as much. Um, so what we recommend if you're um, not attaching the bottom is to either leave 10, 20 centimeters of extra material um, and you can tuck that under so you get a nice flush finish. Um, or you can use one of our foam wedges at the front to stop the balls going underneath. Um, I think it finishes the screen off quite nicely. So again, there we have it really. That's an impact screen hung. It's taken 20 minutes to do, if that, with a bit of filming. Um, so it really doesn't take that long. It's not a very difficult process. The big thing is gonna be building the framework and getting all those measurements right, which obviously we can help you with that. And there you have it. That's a full impact screen hung, ready to start playing some, uh, some good virtual golf on.